Hey everyone, I'm Jack. I just want to give you a quick update again on this grow rack, show you a couple of new plants and some things that I've changed. Stick around and I'll show you what I've done. Here's the first new plant. This is a golden barrel cactus, probably four to five inches across. Pretty big. It's in a one gallon pot, which eventually I'm going to transplant. Uh, probably in the spring. I don't want to do any more transplanting now. Fall's coming and I'm going to start dropping the temperature in this room to have these kind of go dormant. So the top shelf, nothing's changed. Same light, same fans. One new plant um, and all the other ones that I've showed you. So here's what the change is. On the second shelf, we were given a really nice T5 high output light. It's a four bulb light and just throws out a really great amount of light. My camera doesn't like it, but let me come back up here out of that light. So the plants that are on this shelf seem to be doing better with this light than the one I had there before. They look, you can see the color better. They just look like they're getting along much better. I didn't I felt that it wasn't getting enough light and so that's what made me switch plus you know we were given the light so I couldn't just let it sit and not be hooked up a couple of new plants here is the Echeveria Pearl von Nerdberg Nurnberg not Nerdberg <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get some good color in here nice red kind of pinkish tinge on there it's probably not showing too well um, there's so many different light temperatures that my camera just doesn't quite know what to do. Echeveria chroma is another new one. And I probably can't get a good shot of it. So these two were at the bottom, very bottom rack in a plastic tray, you know, like they come in. And tucked all the way at the back. And I normally when I go look, I'll pull them all out, pull the trays out and look through each one. And there were two of these Pearl von Nerdbergs and one chroma so I snagged all three there's another pearl outside um, and this light just really shows that color I wish you could see it better with this camera my my regular camera that I use is having technical difficulties today so I'm using my other camera so there's the prickly pear that I planted get in here and I'm still waiting for roots or growth to happen on it so far nothing, um, but that's the video that I did about planting that and swinging around this fan again, hens and chicks, I believe that I showed you before, and the Haworthia has got kind of moved off, not in the shadows, but kind of over in the corner here. I had it here in the middle and it just didn't like the intense light, so sitting over here sort of off to the side, it seems to be doing really well. And the plant that you may be seeing here in the back right here is not a cactus or a succulent it's a creeping charlie i was given a cutting of that and my mom always grew those and so it sort of reminds me of her so i decided to grow that cutting out and put it up on this rack so that's the second shelf new light couple of new plants and then here's a change down here on the on the third rack sorry about that is the light that was up on the second rack is now down here and this has kind of turned into a propagation shelf I have started probably way too many plants and what's also here is the rainbow elephant bush this one and this one they have gotten moved down here they just they don't like that intense light uh, the top shelf the second shelf it was just too much the, the color got all bleached out and now that green has come back and it, they just look a lot better so I think they're probably going to end up living on this shelf in here I have Echeveria leaves I have silver dollar leaves propagating this is pink sedum my neighbor gave me those and she also gave me this cutting here that I have rooting in water and if I get close enough let me see you might be able to see yep the little root right there see that 
So that is just about ready to plant out. Hot chocolate containers to plant things. I have this Sansevieria cutting that's uh, getting ready to root out in here. And then I'm probably going to leave it on this table, um, but just put it in a pot that's not a hot chocolate container. Swinging back around here is a, right here if you can see a little hens and chicks, uh, Emerald Empress I believe is the name. And then inside these containers I have, uh, I think it's called Dracaena, Dracaena, Dragon Tree. Uh, roots in there trying to root out. My neighbor gave me some of that too. My neighbor is a pretty good source for a lot of plants. <laughs> uh, I have um, Euphorbia milii, crown of thorns right in here. Got three in that pot. Oh, there's my BB gun. <laughs> three in that pot. Uh, one in this one and in front of that I have watch chain another little cutting that's fruiting out um, another sedum in here there's my BB gun again and then I have kind of an unknown an unknown plant to me my neighbor my neighbor my friend at work gave me these um, it's off of a huge plant that she gave me and it's definitely a succulent I just don't know which kind let me get close so you can see that. So it's really cool. It almost looks like a string of bananas or, no, not really burrow's tail, but kind of like a string of bananas, but it's not. So if anyone sees that and then you know what it is, if you could put that down in the comments, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate that. And so, yeah, that is the change for now. Um, this rack is going to become, I guess, the propagation rack, and that light just works perfectly for that. And these elephant bushes are going to stay here, and the bottom shelf, I'm going to end up cleaning that bottom one out and probably put overwintering plants, the ones that I have to bring in outside down there, or I have another idea um, in the area behind me. I may put a table next to a window that faces south and if I can get away with not using a light I may do that but I'm not quite sure about that yet. One of the other changes that I'm going to be doing is in about two weeks will be fall and this light here has two switches that I can turn one bank off and kind of lower the intensity. I think I'm going to do that and then on the shelf up above I think I'm going to change out those four bulbs to 4000K instead of the 6500K and the 2400K and just lower that intensity of that light and just kind of simulate winter a little bit better for them um, with also, you know, a, a drop in temperature in this room. Right now it's still about 80 uh, and about 45% humidity. So to regulate that, I have a covering over the air conditioning vent. Right now it's just a pair of pants <laughs> because I can't find anything better to, to pull back and forth. I'm st I've tried a bunch of different things and I end up tripping on it coming into the room. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. But anyway, that's how I control the temperature is just covering or uncovering that vent, trying to find a happy medium. Uh, when it's hot outside, you know, obviously with that vent covered, it soars the temperature in this room. And so I need to kind of figure out how to do it sort of quickly because I want to drop that temperature and hopefully put these into dormancy. And what I'm really hoping for is that next spring, some of them flower. Uh, I don't know if any of them will be old enough. Not on this rack, of course, but up probably up on the top, the cactus. Uh, I'm hoping that some of them will flower. Potentially maybe the bishop's cap wood. See that one right here. It's doing really well. It has no sign of growth after I transplanted it. It's not dead, but just kind of just hanging out. Um, and I doubt either one of these two, maybe any, any of these three would flower, but I don't know, maybe the golden barrel. Anyway, I'm hoping that some of them flower. That's it guys. I just wanted to show you some of the changes that I've made to this rack. 
new lights moving around, the propagation. I might have been bitten by the succulent and cactus bug and I might have gone a little bit overboard, but I just absolutely love it. So I've got lots of room for more. I've got um, some plants that I've kind of had my eye on that I want to pick up. But for now, I just wanted to show you this and what's going on. If you like this video, please click like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, until the next time, thanks for watching.